What's up, fellow collectors? P. Rockzilla back again for another Godzilla review. It's been a while, and this figure's been sitting in my pile of boxes, so I just grabbed them. I completely forgot about this guy, so I gotta get this review started because this is probably like my third favorite kaiju in the Godzilla like franchises. Uh, I'll say, you know, first definitely would be Gigan, and then Destroyer, and then this guy right here. But this dude right here, yo, he this is SH Monster Arts. Monster X from Godzilla Final Wars and this is one of my favorite movies in the Godzilla movie franchise Because this is the one where he just catches wreck and he's destroying all of the kaijus or most of most of the kaijus from all the previous movies And even that fake Godzilla the Zilla he gets it too But then the zillions this is like the final boss for Godzilla They summon him at the end and this dude when he came down he looks so damn cool I've never seen a kaiju with like, you know, kind of like almost human like but a monster still and that one series, as the box turns right here where he's running, dude, he stares down at Godzilla. You saw, guys, you saw in the intro. He stares Godzilla down and just starts running at him. And I was like, oh, snap. Like, I've never seen that before from, like, I mean, Jet Jaguar and stuff like that. But actual kaiju like that. So that was cool. The way he looks, that bone with the black, the bone white with the black. One of my favorite looking kaijus ever, man. So when they announced him, I was super happy. And I definitely wanted to pick him up. So I can't wait to get this review started. With that in mind, please hit that like, subscribe button, click that bell notification. And anyways, this is going to be a cool review. I can't wait to add them to my shelf. Let's get this review started. Got it. What's up, fellow collectors? Die, So let's take a look at the box before we get the figure out the box. So right here, you got that cool pose right here. This is when he lands on you, you know, when he basically, right, he stares at Godzilla right before he's about to run. This is more like going to be my final pose I put on my display because this scene right here, oh man, it, oh, it makes it for me. But anyways, you got the Godzilla Final Wars right here, SH Monster Arts, Monster X, you got all the Godzilla stuff there, official things right there, Bandai, you got the little, uh, like, hologram right there, you know, official hologram right there, all the legal information on there I can't read. For adult collectors, there you go, Bandai Namco, another picture of Monster X, another cool picture of Monster X right there, and then, oh yeah, right here, when he does a little test of strength with Godzilla, oh, that was like, this probably wrecks like the W, you know, w, back then it was WWF, but those days right there, man, with freaking Ultimate Warrior and Hogan, this is like Ultimate Warrior Hogan for me right here, woo, anyways, but yeah, the running scene, definitely want to try that out, I'm going to see if I can get that done without any stand, see if I can balance it myself, anyways, more pictures of Monster X, another picture, Monster X and Monster X. All right, let's get this monster kaiju out the box. So once you get Monster X out the box, we'll get the box out the way. You are greeted with just one clamshell and something different. They do have swappable hands. They don't do that often. I kind of wish they had them packed in with his blast effect to destroy thunder. There's the three yellow beams that come out from each eye. Um, SH Monster is one thing I... Don't like about SH Monsters, they don't give us the blast effects that they can and should give us with these figures. Sometimes what they'll do is they'll release it and then do like a kind of like a re-release in a way, but like they'll repaint it and then actually add the effects. So it's something that's kind of a pain, but they don't always do that. So that's the troubling part. Like you're not sure if they're gonna do it or not. So you gotta just grab the figure when you can. So here's a package right there. And then one thing I'm worried about is you, I do see a hand. And some other piece bouncing around back there. So I'm hoping these this is like a just a piece that came loose and no broken joints. So we shall see. But this is what you get. So alright, so let's get Monster X and the few accessories he does come with out. So we're gonna take a close look in 4K with everything he does come with in the package. And there we have Monster X and the two hands that he does come with. And just to let you guys know, the hand did just pop off and the shoulder piece did just pop off. So they simply snapped right back on. So everything looks good. So Having this guy in hand, one thing I can say right away, I wish the bone on this portion right here was a little more whiter. It's kind of like yellowish, like too much of a sh like silver yellowish. Um, and then, you know, it kind of doesn't really match like the, the spike on his back, you know, the other bones on his back and stuff. But man, that looks just like Monster X, man. Look at that face. Look at that thing. The red eyes, identical. The design of this guy was cool as hell. Like, I've never seen a kaiju like this. Like, you know, basically, 
if you've never seen it, I'm pretty sure it's an old movie, so it was, you should have seen it already. But he ends up turning to Kai, was it, uh, Kaiser Ghidorah, which is, means emperor in German. So, like, the strongest version of King Ghidorah, like uh, the Ghidorah. So this is why he has the two heads right here. So, eventually, he transforms to Bane Head and, you know, the other two heads right here. And the difference is from his to um, Kaiser Ghidorah to King Ghidorah is his head right here is in the front. And then the two heads are behind the main head. With Ghidorah's vice is the other way around. The two the two other heads are in front and then the main head's in the back. So, yeah. So, he that I wish SH Monsters gives us a Kaiser Ghidorah, man. Because that would be super cool, man. All right. I'll be cool to have both versions of this monster right here. But, yeah, man. Let's just like him. I love the bone detail you see there. Going across, maybe I'll put my brightness a little bit brighter so we can see more of the detail. There we go. So now you can actually see like the jaw, the black portion of the jaw right there. You see all that right there, the eyes, the mouth. The little spikes here. This is like a soft, malleable plastic, so you don't have to worry about this breaking or anything like that. You see all the detail going there. The shoulder pads. Kind of like a spawn on like underneath, like the black portion. Like the texture, even the berserker armor, maybe even too. So you can see, I'm just gonna show you guys all the detail, all the bones on this guy. Man, this guy is cool. I love the design of this guy. Let's see right there. You can see the spike there, the tail, all down the tail, then it splits into two right here. Kind of like a, I don't know, some kind of whip or something, but that's cool right there. It splits into two. You see the thighs right here. So as we're going through, let's go ahead and look at the articulation. So the head. I want to be careful because you can see is that portion right there of the head is kind of rubbing against that. So you want to be careful with that, at least on mine. So the head does go side to side, not as much because it keeps rubbing against that bone portion. You can, he can look down. He can go pretty far up and down. Yeah, so he can look real down. So definitely could pull up that scene where he's floating down. That's going to be cool. Uh, yep. So then these right here do move. They're kind of part with that. You see the peg right there. They're part of the shoulder pads, so they move together. So that's cool right there. It goes up and down, sideways. Very cool. The arms, let's see if I can straighten these arms. So he does have like a butterfly joint there. You can't really see it because, actually, you can probably see it back here better. So the arms do move, and let's put his hands down. Good amount. Let's see if we can slide them up. All right, so you want to slide. The only thing is, is rubbing against the shoulder bone, like the shoulder pad, bone portion, whatever. So if you want to, it could go all the way up more, but you can't really go more because it's rubbing there. As you can see, the arms can go pretty far up, just not as much because of the bone. And then the elbows, you get a single joint, single bend at the elbows, not double bend. It's actually that looks different because you don't really see. Oh, it's tucked under there. That's pretty cool. I thought like a seamless arm, but it's not. The joint is like really tucked under there. So that's cool. That's something different. So this one does bend. You get twist at the upper bicep. As you can see there. But as you twist, you got to be careful with the bones back here too. As you see, I'll show you real quick. As you twist it, you want to be careful not to hit that, scrape the paint, whatever. So he, could, he has good articulation. Just limited with some of the bone portions. All right. And then the elbow, yep. So there you go. The elbow bends like that. All right, so let's see how forward his arm can go. Let's see if we can go pretty far forward once again. That hinders it a little bit. This guy should have good articulation because, believe it or not, like he is very agile. Like, he's doing like spin 360 tail whips and kicks and all kinds of like, yeah, it can go back, but it's just I can't really get it back because of this. So I'm pretty sure it can go back. So, all right, so there goes the arms. We've got the articulation on the arms. For now, let's put the arms up so we can waste uh, test the waist so he does only have one point of twist which is at the upper waist the waist area nothing on the chest and then he can go bend forward pretty good and he can back bend back pretty good so he basically can stand straight and arch forward kind of like a big chap from alien all right so the legs the legs same thing you're hindered with the bones right here you can't really pull it out to make it more but he could as you can see the Hogan boot. He can do the Hogan boot. So definitely agile. You do get somewhat double bend at the knees. Not as much because it should bend a little bit more. But he could do the Jorge Masadoff flying knee too. So that's good. 
cool, cool, cool articulation so far. So he does have twist at the upper thigh, at the, and it seems like there's more there too. And then let's see how far, you can go that. So let's see, you go that way. Let's see how far forward. So you could do the split that way. Can he? Now he can't really do his legs out more. That's probably as far as you can go because of the bone rubbing. And then the knees, I showed you right there. He does get double bend. This portion is like a soft plastic right there. So you do it there, and then you get twist. I showed you at the upper thigh. You get twist a little bit at the knee portion right here. And then down here, he does have very good foot articulation. So you can go straight. This is straight. You can go up. You can go down. And he, oh, I thought he had toe bend. Nope, no toe bend. Looks like he had toe bend. Yeah, pretty good. And then, of course, you get the twist and pivot. All right, so there you go with articulation on the body. Let's check out the tail. So the tail, much like every other SH Monster Arts, has segmented parts as articulation, segmented joints. So you could get some good articulation with this tail. You can go all the way up, all the way down. You can have it straight. And then these, do these articulate on their own? Let's see. Yeah, so these have their own articulation too. So it has that one point articulation right here. So you can articulate these also. Oh, it came right out. So there you go. There goes the peg. This is infamous for the Godzilla tails and, and Kaiju tails. Like, you know, the pegs are so small. So, yep, you have articulation there. So this guy definitely has the articulation he should have for the, to represent the way he fought and looked in the movie. All right, there we go. So then, then he does come with the swappable hands. And those easily peg right on and off. There's the peg right there. Comes with two of these. You can see the detail pretty good right there. And that's it. So, all right. So, let's go ahead and get, do a size comparison. And then we'll do the final thoughts and final poses. Okay. So, I have Monster X standing as straight as possible. The head's a little bit in an angle because, like I said, during our articulation portion, I mentioned that it's just rubbing. But here we go. Ready for a size comparison. So, let's go ahead and bring in some figures in. Of course, we're going to bring in his boy, the one that he was fighting with. And Final Wars, and that's going to be the SH Monster Arts Gigan. Let's bring his head down, make it a little bit more fair, more even. Then, we're going to go ahead and bring in a Takara Tommy Master, uh, Transformers Masterpiece Grimlock. The tail's rubbing back there. And then last but not least, I'm going to go bring in a NECA Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Pizza Monster from the cartoon series. So there we go. Good size comparisons with three other figures. Just in case you have any of these other figures in your collection, you can get a good idea of how Monster X will fit on your shelf or in your display. All right, let's go ahead and get the final thoughts and final poses. So here I got the best effort I can with that running position. I definitely want to get an attempt with this and definitely one of the final poses because, like I said, this is one of those scenes from when he, when he first appeared. When I saw him running, ooh, it just blew me away. Um... Pretty simple to do. I do admit, if this figure had toe articulation, I think you could have gotten the bend a lot more better. Um, definitely need to stand because he's top heavy with all the, you know, like the shoulder pads, the bones, and the head, and everything. And uh, I'm, at least on mine, the knee uh, bend, like the knee joint, is not as tight as it should be. So I wasn't able to get him posed like this without the, the standing base. I need to use it, but. I have a clear one here, so, you know, in the right lighting, it does kind of feel like, you know, the right angle when he turns this way, it looks like he really is running on his own, but it's pretty good to get him in this pose. It wasn't very, very hard. Uh, the arm, the left arm that's going back, you had to adjust that a little bit and work with the shoulder pad and kind of angle in the right position in order to get that full extension and kind of going backwards. Um, the head, I wish it, it could have went a little bit more up and to the left, or I'm sorry, up and to the right. But it was good enough right here, and I was able to get the pose accomplished. So I'm happy about that because, like I said, this is iconic pose for me. And I'm, ooh, it just brings, it makes me want to watch the, the movie again, man. I probably have to do that tonight. But anyways, let's go ahead to the next final pose. So in this final pose, I kind of wanted to show you the diverse articulation of this figure right here, this character exactly. Just remember, this is a Godzilla figure, Godzilla character. And this isn't like a Cayman Rider or uh Dragon Ball Z figure, but look at the like the pose. Like I was able to get him on one knee, bending on one knee, choking Godzilla Jr. and actually looking down into Godzilla Jr.'s eyes with his right hand, his nails, claws ready to basically go in for the kill. So we don't know if Godzilla doesn't come in time to save him, but 
I just want to show you, like, this is a Godzilla figure that's posed like this. And he's able to. The only issue I did have, oh, and I wanted to mention that before in the previous pose, my right hand, for some reason, I'm not sure if it's a QC issue, if other people experienced it. I don't think Diego Doom experienced it in his review, but I saw his. Um, but when I take the hand off, the peg comes off with the hand. And it's a little pain in the butt. It's a small, tiny peg, so I don't want to pull it out and break that peg. Because if I break that peg, I won't be able to get that any hand back on there. So... That's issue I do have, so I couldn't swap out that right hand with the straight hand. And if you look at that outer pose when he was running, um, the left arm, left hand, I was able to swap that out easily. And then my right shoulder pad, like the skin portion right there, it keeps popping off when I move it. So I'm not sure if it's like the something's wrong with the the joint or something, but it's easy to pop back on. Um, but yeah, man, like this dude. And oh, another thing, the head can move actually further up. I was able to wiggle it a little bit, and it, I basically loosened up some of the bone joints right there, the bone like plastic pieces so he can look a little bit further up which i could have benefited me in that last pose too also so anyways but back to this as you can see look at the, look at this pose dude like man it got you know just I'm, oh man it makes me want to kind of keep him somewhat in a dynamic pose uh in my my you know my display but the next pose like i said is more of the pose i do remember him in the sh movie when i first saw it and i always remember this next pose basically when he first lands when he's levitating from the ground and we're going to do that right now. All right, so I'm one to admit, I, this pose didn't come out as good as I wanted to come out. Even looking at the picture, um, they kind of only show, like, the like they have him kind of, like, actually landing, like, when he's just about to land. So, um, obviously, I didn't want to use a stand, so I didn't want to do the whole landing thing. Like, like, when I display him, I don't want to have a stand with I don't think I have any stand with any of the Godzilla figures. Maybe King Ghidorah's the only one, because to have him flight mode. So I definitely want to stand with him. As you can see, the tail kind of help, you know helps him stand up straight. He stands up straight normally by himself. So that's one cool thing about this figure. Um, so this is close enough. It's more like when he lands. My interpretation when he lands and he's about to take that first step forward before he starts running. Because when he lands in the, in the pictures and the show, he got his mouth closed. I want that the mouth open. Like he's about you know he's he's mid action, just about to start that crazy run. Um, but yeah, you know articulating him. This last time, I did have issues with the tails, like the, the tail kept popping off at this particular joint. But if you're SH Monster Arts collector, you're kind of used to that, so you know how to work around that. That shoulder pad piece kept coming off again, um, and that's really about it, honestly. So there's some, you know, fragile pieces that kept popping off on mines, and the articulation was hindered by some of the bones and some of the um, armor pieces and stuff like that. So few minor things but i'm super happy that freaking sh monsters gave us this character right here he when i first saw him like i said like he i right away he's like oh this is gonna be one of my favorites and the fact that he transformed to kaiser Ghidorah, man that was oh man that was so damn cool i wish they give us that figure it's gonna be that'll be a big one man because he got four legs the three you know four legs the three heads and the wings would love to have that especially with that golden blue color um he this figure right here poses so you can basically have him in mid transformation when he's trying to turn to that that Ghidorah version. So he definitely could get that done. So I'm just amazed with the articulation on for this figure for an SH Monster Arts figure. I uh, love the detail on it. I wish some of the you know some of the bones a little more of the white instead of the silver. But all around, man, I'm happy I picked this guy up. I'm happy they gave it to us. Please give us more. Um, and if you're on the fence with this figure, man, like I'll say pick it up because just the articulation you could do with this. He definitely would be good for taking pictures with your other Godzilla figures. You know, definitely cool battle scenes and everything like that. Definitely feels, fits the bill for that. So if you're into that, this figure would definitely be good for that. All right, collectors. I hope you enjoyed this. Wait, I'm sorry. Before I do that, please hit that like, subscribe button. Click that bell notification so you can be notified of upcoming reviews, streams, and UFC watch-alongs. With that in mind, keep collecting. I hope you're being good, you know, out there, you know, use your money right and stuff like that. But... Keep collecting, stay safe, be good, dollars.